Welcome to Big Play MTG. My name is Greg. We are recording a premier draft, Cons of Tarkir style. All right, and we have uh, a Mythic Rare. It says if a player would begin an extra turn, that player would skip that turn instead. Ugin's Nexus would be put into a graveyard from the battlefield instead, exile it, and take an extra turn after this one. Okay, I'm not really sure how to do that. I don't know there are a lot of extra turn things running around, so I'm going to kind of ignore that. Maybe that's the wrong thing. Maybe there's some way to do this. I don't know how to sacrifice put into a graveyard from the battlefield. Uh, I don't really know how I would do that here. Um, I have really liked Feet of Resistance. This looks like a cool build around if you can do it. Um, cast a non-creature spell. We've got the debilitating injury. Enchaining creature gets minus two, minus two. I'm a big fan of the feat of resistance. Um, there's also just like the five color strategy where you just like take as many tap lands as you can. Um, I really like feat of resistance. I think I'm going to start there. All right. And now we have a, this has been pretty good too. Creatures you control with vigilance. Um, that's a tri land. There's another land here. Uh, let's see. This has been kind of a cool little build around as well. Um, we do have a Brave the Sands. Each creature you control has Vigilance. I think I just want to take the Tri Land here. And I have not done the, the five color deck. I think I, I kind of want to try that. So if they keep passing me this thing. Okay, so here is a green black kind of toughness matters built around. We don't have a land. This is also not a deck that I've tried, just like the toughness matters thing. Um, all right, Dig Through Time is a good delve card. I've been impressed with the Woolly Loxodon. And honestly, maybe just the best card here other than the Dig Through Time. Um, here is return up to two target creatures from your graveyard to your hand. That's good. Um, I think I kind of want to take a flyer on this invocation and just like see what happens. Okay. Well, here's this Sultai Flare and another feat of resistance. All right, there's also just a couple of these are allied dual lands and so not quite as good. Um, so this lets you gain some life. Not bad with this or this. We're kind of we're kind of getting into this Abzan wedge a little bit here. Um, I kind of want to just take the second feat of resistance. Okay. So now. Now it does look like, I mean, this is really good, this Abzan guide. We've got the, the Heart Piercer Bow, okay, but we've got the Alpine Grizzly. I really like Abzan guide. I think this is going to be sweet. Okay. And now here are some of these things that care about, I really like this Dragon Scale Boom. This allows you just to, at instant speed, put two plus one plus one counters. Um... Yeah, that looks sweet if we're getting into Abzan. Okay. Uh, until the end of turns, he gets first strike. Yeah, maybe. We also have this uh, Jeskai student here. So I think maybe just to pick up a two, it could be good. Well. We'll see. Um, become immense. Target creature gets plus six, plus six until end of turn. That's really huge. Uh, there's also just this gain lane here. I'm kind of interested in this though. I think that's just gonna end some games. Um, but I also just wanna be able to cast my stuff. But I kind of want to try this. That was pretty cool. All right. Then we, then we need to, like, take some lands. But that was something I'd, I kind of want to try here. I mean, 
it's a it's a huge combat trick. All right, no one's still taking this, so I think let's go ahead and get a gain land here. Yeah, maybe maybe there with the, the Kirin. Putting some putting some counters on it could be good. Okay. Uh, like I probably don't want any of these. Maybe, but okay. And then this is just like fine. It's just kind of a filler card, right? So let's let's put these over here, like these morph guys. Kind of want to put them in a different pile. Okay. Right, Pierce your bow. Morph. Okay. Oh, Abzan banner. All right, so what do we got here? This is a morph when it's turned face up, counter target spell. That spell is countered this way, exile it instead of putting it into its owner's graveyard. Um, that's interesting. Here's a 5 4 flyer. We've got another one of these dragon scale booms. We've got the come immense. Is there any chance that I'm like not absent here? Because this looks like a good card. You have to hold up six mana for it, though. Good gracious. Um, I kind of like just like putting counters and stuff. I've been a big fan of this dragon scale boom. Okay. So we've got another blue card. We've got the Pine Walker. Untap that creature. Okay, so, so I think that Pine Walker is pretty good. We've also got this Debilitating Injury, which I think is pretty good. We've got this Scoured Barons. If we were going more five color, then we could maybe do this, but I think I'm most interested in the Pine Walker. All right, so now, Got a couple things that look interesting. Uh, I think, so we have this, this just slows games down, um, the parapet, and that could give us some time to set up this kin tree invocation and things like that. This guy's just pretty big. I like this, return two car target creatures from your graveyard to your hand. I think this is probably the one I'm most interested in, just as a four or five. Yeah, get that guy. Okay. So now, the two things that I'm interested in are the Wooly Loxodon and this debilitating injury. Um, like, I think we're squarely absent. I do like this. I don't know that I need another one of those guys. Okay. Um, I would probably play another one actually. Uh, probably between the, the Loxodon and the debilitating injury. Let's let's take our first injury here. Okay. A couple things here. We've got this land, which would be helpful. We've also got an Alpine Grizzly. All of these I think are, are okay. I think I'm inclined just to go ahead and take the land that's in our colors here. Uh, we've got a Hooting Mandrel. We've got another Parapet. We've got a Nomad Outpost. Again, just lets us cast our stuff. Probably here. Okay. Um, do I want the 2-8? The 2-8 goes really well with this Kintree Invocation. Right, it's a two eight. It's just absolutely huge. Um, maybe it's just a it's a two eight. It's right. well, maybe. All right, so now we've got a couple things. Um, we've got the bit of revelation. We've got the dutiful return. I think I kind of want this. Dutiful return. I don't know. I think these are both. This is pretty close. I definitely don't want another two eight, but let's try a bitter revolution. Um. 
Okay. Like, I mean, maybe. Maybe a, maybe a seven mana 5 4 flyer is something I'm into, but I don't know. We've got some morphs here. These, these should really go over here. I don't think I want to play this banner if I don't have to. Morph. Morph. Okay. Um, switch your library for three basic land cards. Uh, like, probably not. I, I don't mean, like... Okay, cool. So this wield. Beautiful return. Okay, dragon skill, boom. Okay. Probably don't want that. Okay, so what's our plan here? I don't think I want the heart piercer bow. Okay. So we're kind of doing this like go big, put counters on stuff. It'd be great to get some like um Abzan Falconers, Abzan Battle Priests. Well, we're getting some more banners. Okay. Oh, there's Sarkon. Um, I think it's pretty clear that we're not playing red. So I don't think I can splash for red, red. But there is one of the creatures I would like to get. It's Battle Priest. Just really good. Um, so let's, let's scoop up the Battle Priest. Yeah, that's the best thing. Best card for this deck for sure. Okay. Um, now let's look at it. All right. This guy is an eight mana flying delver. Um, I don't know how hard we're delving, but that's a really good card. It is black. So we also have creatures you control with a plus one, plus one counter have reach, which could be nice. Um, it's a one five morpher. Yeah. I think this is probably just good enough. Um, I'll probably play that. I like, you know, we'll see. All right. Um, okay, so we've got the 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 bat wing. We've got the guy. Whenever a creature you control toughness four or greater dies, each opponent loses two life, and you gain two life. That's pretty good. Um, we've also got a throttle. Um, let's see. I've got my things set up in a way that it's kind of annoying to myself. Um, I think I want to take this. Okay. Um, now, we've got a Mardu Hate Blade. We've got another Feet of Resistance. I kind of like giving stuff reach. Um, I haven't played with this yet. It's a five mana two two flyer. That just doesn't seem like that good. Um, we've got the Mardu Heat Blade. We've got another feat of resistance. Um, let's get these guys. Let's get these guys. Okay, so I'm trying to look at my colors here. All right, we've got. Scout the borders. We've got another debilitating injury. This is a Mardu guy. That's pretty good. But um, let's go ahead and grab this debilitating injury. It seems like a great card for us. I mean, yeah. Um, there's also this 5 3 red, red, red. Part of me is wondering if I have enough red for this Mardu Rough Rider. Uh, it's not a morph, though. I think I do want this thing. Okay. Bitter Revelation, 3 6 morph. Um, I think it's possible that I play this. Maybe. Okay, so this is great. This is an, there's another absent guy. Yeah, snap, snap. Um, okay, so we're on pick nine. So this is the wheel. Um, how much blue do I have? Blue, 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 blue. 
Um, yeah, we'll put this over here. All right, anything that we're excited about here? Probably not. Um, we'll put that over here. But I think the thing that I'm most excited about here is we've got some ways to, to gain life for sure. It is flying. Mardu hate blade. Maybe scout the borders. Okay, there's there's Hootie. All right, so we've got some good stuff, I think. Uh, let's let's try to build this here. So I think Mardu is or um, Abzan's probably been my favorite uh, color pair here. So not so interested in these guys. I don't think there's any reason to run these off color guys. This is white black and this is unnecessary. <laughs> so we'll we'll kind of be just three colors. Okay, I need to make a couple more cuts. So I kind of want to put all my morphs in a pile. So I don't think I can play three delve cards. So I'm gonna cut Hootie, because I kind of want to play this Fiend. And I kind of want to play Become Immense. And I'm really not interested here. So am I interested in the rest of these things? Probably. Um, yeah. This looks pretty good. I'll, I'll try this out. Should I be playing this two drop? Flying first strike haste opposed to the just guy student. I mean, maybe. Because I could potentially load him up with um, some of these dragon scale boons. Okay. I'm interested to see if I can get a 8-8 eight, eight off of this guy. Okay, so yeah, it looks good. Let's try it. All right, guys, so let's jump into our very first um, game here with this Abzan deck. We're playing up in Platinum, so the decks tend to be pretty good up here, but um, I kind of like what we're doing here. We've got two Abzan guides, and our opponent is bad. That might be helpful. Okay, so we've got all of our colors, which is great. We get to go first. We've got two morphs. So we'll probably go morph, morph, and then maybe bitter revelation or start returning some stuff. All right, so they're gaining some life. I think totally fine to play. A... So which morph do we play first? I think that's the question here. Okay, so they've got this guy. Um, all right, so let's go morph. Play the absent guy next. Okay, are they attacking? I bet they are. Oh no, okay. That's cool. Um so then do we attack and maybe play a feat of resistance? Uh I don't think it's worth it to do that. I'd like some more lands. Uh no attack. So we should be able to start doing some stuff soon. Okay, so they're gonna bid a revelation, which means they're tapped out. All right. A land would be great here. Okay, so kind of. So I think I wanna go ahead and attack. Let's go here. And we'll say green. All right, that's this guy. Um, so if we need to, next turn, we can either Bitter Revelation or we can, okay, that's fine. Parapet, sure. Um, so I kind of want to attack and, but I think what I need to do is Bitter Revelation right now. Um, 
So let's go ahead and grab a land. Let's grab this guy. Okay. Um, play a land, no attack. Okay, so now I'm at five. Five feels pretty good. I think I don't block right now. So we're, this is the Abzan Mirror. I have good cards. I don't know how important that guy's going to be, but he could be. Drop dead. Wow. Okay. 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 So what can I do here? Um, I can basically play anything. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so I have six. Um, I think I want to like do this and then just maybe hold up the feet of resistance. Um, and then if, if I need to, the next turn, hopefully I can draw another land. Maybe a white land would be nice. Okay, I think I'm fine with that trade. Okay, that's fine. Um, so now, I think I'd like to just to like outclass them here. So we go black, black, so that's two, now I need seven. So one, two, three, Four. Um, actually, I think I want to cancel that. So let's. I know this is taking a little bit of time here. I want a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I need two more. Will that work? Okay. Enter. Okay. So this guy has delve and flying. My guy has flying. Okay. This thing has just defender, not reach. I think that thing should probably have reach, but it doesn't, so. All right, so it looks like they've got something here. So I'm going to put this on, and I'm going to say black. Okay. So now I have a 5-6 flyer. Okay, face down card, cool. So we'll debilitating injury that guy, right? Um, okay, so let's see how we do this. I have one, two, five, six. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and attack. Okay. Then let's play a debilitating injury. Then let's Bloodsucker. Okay. So now if he dies, then they gain two, then they lose two and I gain two, right? Um, so that's good. I also have this thing where I can start bringing back Absent guys. Okay, that's fine. It's fine because they can give him Death Touch, but that's fine. Um, and then I just have a five, six and they have a three, three. So that's good. Can also start, um, playing my Abzan guide because I've got this to return Abzan guides. Okay. So that's pretty good. 
So can I delve away six cards? Exile X cards from your graveyard. Target creature gets minus X minus X until end of the turn. Okay. So I wonder if I can pay that at instant speed. Let's just play. Um, no attack. Okay. So I should be able to like block here and then do that, right? I can maybe delve away three things and get them back next turn. Okay, so let's do this. Okay. In response to that, I'm going to one, two, three. I'm just going to pay three. Yeah. Why can't I do this? Exile X cards from your graveyard. Pay three. I should be able to like click the cards in my graveyard, right? I, I don't know. I don't know why it won't let me do that. Well, I don't know the deal there, but I'm not happy about it. Okay, Highland game, sure. Hate blue. Okay, fine. But I don't know why it wouldn't let me do this. So. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll have to do that right now. Oh, can I not do that at instant speed? Is that exile X cards from your graveyard, target creature gets minus X, minus X until end of turn. No attack. Hmm. Okay, face down card. Sure. They're gonna keep jamming with a six six. Um, but I'm not sure. Uh, no blocks here. Okay. So I think I want to just go ahead here. Um, should, I, should I attack there? So they're going to get me down to five. I think I think I just like lead back blockers here. Okay, and then they have this, so they can hug me. Okay. I think um, I think no blocks here. No blocks. Okay, this thing this thing's kind of hilarious. Okay, so now I need to. Let's, all right, so let's play one, two, three, four, five. Submit five. Yeah. 
or do heat blade. Okay. Um, he can still get death touch, so that's good. And then do I want to swing with anything? Um, no attack. Okay. So they can drain me here. Okay. So this guy does not have trample. He does have flying. Uh, I would need six things of power with toughness here before I'm bitter revelation. Okay, that could be good. I, I actually maybe see a path here where I actually win through this thing. Um, we'll see. Like if I can deal... I should be able to deal five to them in the air next turn. Then I can sack sack. Okay, that was probably good for them. Like if they want to block my Abzan guy out of here. Um, so Well, see, this is going to be closer than you think it is. You don't know what's here. I do like this guy. Um, okay, so I have to block. Um, and I have some outs. Okay. My turn. Okay. That was not one of them. I have one there. So I definitely want to do this. Um, then I can start sacrificing stuff. Right? And then is there any scenario where I attack with the Abzan guide here? Um, probably not. But if I do attack with the Abzan guide, I don't necessarily have to block this guy. So I'm kind of interested in doing that. Okay. So I'm going to gain six. Okay. So this is actually pretty close. Because this guy can sack another guy. I can sack the Mastodon, maybe. Um, and if they just try to push through damage here. Because I think what happens is I don't block. If he attacks, I don't block. Because I do have ways to make this guy bigger, right? And then I can double sack. So if I can do four, that brings him down to five. Sack, sack. Doesn't quite get me there. But I have outs, and I think that I just have to play to my outs, right? Maybe they swing into everybody. Okay. So this is super interesting. Resolve. Okay, so I think I just go like this. Block, block. OK. 
acá. So I'm down to two. Okay. They gain some, draw some cards. Sure. I wonder if they drew anything meaningful. This is a nice play. Okay, they have their own absent guide, which is nice. So that's a good card. I think collectively we've gained a lot of life this turn. Um, my turn. Okay, that did not help. So I think they have this up. So I would probably need to sack something in response. So that's pretty bad. I think I think we're dead, but we'll we'll go for it. Yeah. Can't quite burn him out with the blood sucker. I also just saw a few more cards in it. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm dead. Um, two blocks, but let's go ahead and just do our thing. They're going to try to kill me in response, which means that I try to sacrifice him in response, which means that got them down to three. Oh man, if I were to play that next land, I could he assist sacrifice another creature? Okay. I mean, I'm dead, but. Team Recharger. Yeah. Okay. Well, it was a good game. It was actually closer. It's pretty close. All right, guys. So we are looking for our first win here with this Abzan um, kind of grindy deck here that we've got. Um, we played like a 20 minute game one and came out on the losing end of it. Got our opponent down to three, the blood sucker. Um, okay. Don't love this, but we've got that turn two play. So let's try it. Okay, there's our third color. So that's, that's good at least. All right, so let's go ahead and play this forest. We'll play the bat. Hope we draw into some stuff here. Oh, it's got haste too. Okay, that's pretty cool. Hey, they also have a play. Um, so there's the dutiful return. Uh, no attacks. And they just realized that it has first strike. Okay. 
I think we uh, debilitating injury here. That's fine. Um, and then we'll go no attack. So we're looking at, okay. All right, uh, no attack. If he does die, I think we get to play the fiend next turn. Okay. All right, sandbars. All right, fine. And we'll play this guy. Okay, cool. Then I think we can start playing the Fiend. Looks like they're a little on the stuck side. Okay, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, no attack. Why can't I play this? Oh, because it's not. End turn. Okay. Well, basically, I could become immense. Do I care? No. I don't care that much. Okay. Okay, cool. That's auto pay. Plus six, plus six. I do War Shrieker, okay. So that gives them more mana. Suspension field. I think we need to do this now. White. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, okay. Well, that's awesome. Awesome. Let's try it. Did we get him? 
Let's go. Become a men's, baby. That's why we got it. Let's go. An 11 12 for the win. That was pretty cool. All right. So we got, we got our first win with this deck. We got to hit with an 11 12, which is nice, which is nice. Okay. Let's jump into the next game. All right. It's kind of fun turning your guy into an 11 12 when they have 10 life. Um, it's kind of weird. They went really hard on using their resources. Those sandbars, you know, the bat did some work there as a blocker, just kind of holding the ground. Had a nice little, um, just, just we had enough. We had enough. And that's kind of fun. You know, sometimes you feel like, hey, I got cheesed out of a whim. Sometimes it's nice to cheese other people out of a whim. Um, becoming men's and flyers are really pretty good. Imagine if we would have drawn that in the first game. Okay, so we go first. We don't have green, but we do have a debilitating injury. We've got some other good stuff. So we've got the become immense. Probably need to draw some green. But we've got an early play. We've got some things to draw into. I like it. You know, one of the things I've noticed is that the best of three and best of one, the hands just feel really different. The best of three, it almost feels like you have to mulligan every single time because the hand smoother is just not there. Um, okay, so that's good. We can we can cast a morph on turn three if we need to. This isn't aura. So this is a bad dead weight <laughs> is what that is. Um, okay. Let's see what this looks like. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play the Mardu Hate Blade and the Debilitating Injury here. Okay. And now we can probably just play that as a morph next turn. Okay. One, two, three. Morph. So another Jeskai looking deck, maybe Teamer. Maybe they don't have their colors. We'll see. Oh man, Arc Lightning does some work in this format, that's for sure. I, I haven't had the chance to play with this yet, but every time I mean, it just get it gets regular two for ones here, and now we don't have mana. So, but they did miss a land drop. So we'll see what they can do. Um, another morph. That's the beauty of morphs is that they just give you something to do, even even when you miss your land drop. So this is going to hurt because, um, but we'll see. But I think it will slow them down for a minute. Um, so, but they got their white. Okay. So they're going to turn that face up. Now it can't be blocked. Okay. So now we're on a clock. Okay. So we, we definitely did that. Um, can make a five, five. Um, This might be a same, the same game plan, game plan as last time is to try to become immense. We would like to get rid of this guy. That's for sure. Okay, goblin slide. Nothing we can do there. Um... So we can create an XX black and green spirit creature token. Okay, so we need to probably do that to make our 5-5. Five five. So let's do this. Let's, let's just attack with everything, get them down to 10, make our 5-5. Five five. 
and we can become immense next turn. And it's a little bit of a long shot, but we'll see. Uh, if they can deal with it, they just win, right? Yeah, they just win. Okay. I mean, it's possible that I should have just attacked with the 4-5. But you never know. Okay. Well, we are struggling a little bit here. Um and we didn't have the best mana there. I think had we had better mana, we maybe win this that one. But um, all right, well let's let's go for another win. Let's just let's just keep chaining together, see what happens. You know, the thing up in here in, in platinum is that the decks are pretty good, and um, you know you have to be on your game. So we'll see if uh, Abzan, kind of green and black, big things. Um, see if we can get another victory here. It's been kind of a cool deck. We just haven't been able to win a ton. And it's kind of the downside of the best of one, right, is that you can get cheesed out of stuff. I mean, maybe maybe you were kind of trying to cheese them out of a win there. But um, all right, let's, let's try it. Playing the Overmaster. All right, well, we have... I mean, this is pretty bad, right? Let's just mulligan, try to get a better hand here. Um, yeah, I guess this is better, but not by a lot. So we'll put this Mastodon back. Um, and we can at least turn three Abzan God. Maybe make a 4-4. Four, four. <laughs> Not great though. If we're playing against something that's really aggressive, then maybe we're in trouble. This is good. We like a green source. Okay, kind of the same start as last turn. Okay, well, we can kill some little things. If they if they were relying on little things to carry the day, then that might not be good for them. Let's just kill it. Um, eh, let's get on board. But I think the argument for killing the thing, which I thought about as soon as I threw that down, was they're Mardu. They're, they're going to be wanting to attack. And so they might get some kind of bonus for attacking. Okay. Well... Let's slow it down. Now what? Well, we can always bring it back. We've got a morph. Okay. So let's go ahead and play our morph. And I think we just block, right? Because we've got the return. We've got the other thing to play. Probably fine doing that. Okay. Sure. War Shrieker. Okay. Raider Spoils. Oh, man. And he's a warrior? No, he's a shaman. Okay. No blocks. Well, at least we have our feet of resistance up. No attack. All right, so let's try to block here. Let's say red. That's pretty good. Okay, that's fine. Ah, oh, jeez. All 
All right. Well, I can't play this guy. Oh, that's pretty good. But then I can't dutifully return anything. But I don't want to sit there and just let them. All right, well, let's try it. Let's just play this game. One. All right, well, let's see if we can turn the corner here. Like, of course, they probably do a removal spell. Oh, OK. All right, cool, cool. So now play the Mardu Hate Blade. No attack, enter. OK, well, we'll see what they want to do here. Pass to attackers. Okay, another black source. No attack. And All right. Um, looks like they might have something here. Mardu Charm. Resolve. Okay, they're going to make a bunch of warriors and they're going to draw a bunch of cards. So this is not looking great for us. Uh, pass the blockers. Give this. Okay. So they're going to draw how many now? Three cards. Jeez. OK, and plus. Now, the good news is we can bring the hate blade back unless we decide to exile something with it. Okay, Pony Brack Brigade. Um, that is not good. Well, it's been fun. Yeah, I mean, I could theoretically, I think I'm just dead. No attack. That's the problem with Platinum, man. You just get up to these games, and they're, the other decks are just really good. You can't mess around. And, yeah. These are goblins, so. But well, we're dead. All right. Well, thanks for joining us on Big Play MTG. We did not have a successful day. Um, but kind of fun nonetheless. So uh, if, you, if you like it, please hit uh, like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time.